have already learnt about adjectives and we know that an adjective is a describing word. It is used with a noun or a pronoun to add something to its meaning. For example, it is a cold day. Now in this sentence, the word cold describes the noun day. It gives us more information about it. Hence, cold is an adjective here. Now let us read the three sentences here. Jim's room is clean. Jim's room is cleaner than my room. My parents have the cleanest room in the house. Now in the first sentence, clean describes the noun room. In the second sentence also, cleaner describes the noun room. In the third sentence, the word cleanest describes the noun room. Hence, the words clean, cleaner, cleanest are various forms of adjectives that show us the degrees of comparison. So, we can say clean, cleaner, cleanest are all three forms of adjectives which show us the degrees of comparison and which have been formed from the adjective clean. So clean shows no comparison. Cleaner shows comparison between two nouns and cleanest shows comparison with more than two nouns. So clean is in the positive degree. Cleaner is the comparative degree and cleanest is the superlative degree of the adjective clean. Now as we move from the positive degree to the comparative degree, the intensity of the degree of comparison increases. It also increases as we move from the comparative degree to the superlative degree. So as we move from the positive degree to the comparative degree to the superlative degree, the intensity of the degree of comparison increases. Now you will notice that in the positive degree, we use the simple or the primary form of the adjective. For example, clean. Whereas in the comparative degree, we have used er added to the simple or the primary form of adjective and it is always followed by than. In the superlative degree, you will see that we have added EST to our positive degree and it is always preceded by the. Now let us look at a few rules to form the various degrees of comparison. Now the positive degree of comparison always uses the simple form of the adjective. To form the comparative degree, we add ER to the positive form and to form the superlative degree we add est to the positive form which is the simple form of the adjective. So smart becomes smarter and smartest in the comparative degree and superlative degree respectively. Bright becomes brighter in the comparative degree and brightest in the superlative degree. Dark becomes darker in the comparative degree and darkest in the superlative degree. But if our simple form of adjective or the positive degree ends with an E, then what do we do? Let us see. So nice becomes nicer in the comparative degree. Wise becomes wiser. Strange becomes stranger. So what have we done here? When our adjectives end with E, then in the comparative degree, we just add an R to the positive form. Now, to get the superlative degree, what do we do? So nice becomes nicest, wise becomes wisest, and strange becomes strangest. So what have we done here? In this case, we have added ST, to the positive degree to get the superlative form. 
for adjectives that end with a vowel and a consonant, what do we do? So fat becomes fatter in the comparative degree, mad becomes madder and wet becomes wetter. So what have we done in these cases? In these cases, we have formed the comparative degree by doubling the final consonant of the positive degree and then we have added er. So what have we done? We have taken the positive degree, we have doubled the final consonant, so we have made it double t and then we have added er to get fatter, madder, wetter in the comparative degree. Now how do we form the superlative degree in such cases? The superlative degree is formed by doubling the final consonant as we have done earlier and then adding an est. So fat becomes fattest, mad becomes maddest and wet becomes wettest in the superlative degree. When we have the positive degree or adjectives which end with y, for example, silly, pretty, cozy. Then how do we form the comparative degree? We change the y to i and then add er. So silly, what have we done? We have removed the y, we have added i and then added er to get sillier. Similarly, pretty, prettier, cozy, cozier. Now to form the superlative degree of such adjectives, what do we do? We change the y to i as we have done earlier and then add est. So silly becomes silliest, pretty becomes prettiest and cozy becomes coziest. Now there are some exceptions to these rules. Let us see. In the positive degree, if we have the adjective good, then the comparative degree is better, whereas the superlative degree is best. If we have little as our adjective in the positive degree, then the comparative degree is less and the superlative degree is least. If we have old in the positive degree, then in the comparative degree, we can write older if we are referring to persons or things or elder if we are referring to persons. And in the superlative degree, it becomes older or eldest. Now, if our adjectives in the positive degree have more than two syllables, then how do we form the comparative and the superlative forms? Let us see. If we have words like useful, horrible, interesting, then our comparative degree becomes more useful, more horrible, more interesting. So what have we done here? We have added more before the positive degree to form our comparative degree. Now to form our superlative degree, we will add most before our positive degree. So useful will become most useful, horrible will become most horrible and interesting will become most interesting. Similarly, we can use the same examples and instead of using more and most, we can use less and least to form the comparative degree and the superlative degree respectively. So useful will become less useful in the comparative degree and least useful in the superlative degree. Similarly, horrible will become less horrible and least horrible. Interesting will become less interesting and least interesting in the two degrees respectively. Now let us read this sentence. Katie is as thin as Kelly. Now what kind of degree of comparison does this sentence show? Let us see. When we say Katie is as thin as Kelly, then we see that we have used the adjective thin 
in its primary form and when do we use an adjective in the primary form? In the positive degree. Now when you read the sentence, you will realize that we are comparing Katie and Kelly. But both of them are same. Katie is as thin as Kelly. Kelly is as thin as Katie. So there is no difference in them when we are comparing how thin they are. So what do we see? That we use the positive degree to describe a single thing or person or in comparisons that are at the same level. Since the comparison in this sentence is at the same level, so we say it is in the positive degree. Now you will notice that in the positive degree, showing the same level of comparison, we use as before and after the adjective. Now let us read this sentence. The products made in China are inferior to those made in Japan. Now what are we comparing here? We are comparing the products made in China with the products made in Japan. So we are actually comparing two things. So we are showing the comparative degree of adjective here. Now we know that whenever we show the comparative degree, we always use than but in this sentence, we have not used than, we have used to, we have said the products made in China are inferior to those made in Japan. So at times when we are comparing two things, we can use to also. Now let us read the first sentence. This book is the most interesting book. So here what are we saying? We are talking about a particular book in comparison with many other books. So we are using the superlative degree of adjective here. But at times people may also say the sentence as this book is more interesting than the other books. So what have we done here? We have used more before interesting when we are comparing one book with many other books. So this is an example of an exception where we have used the comparative degree when we are comparing more than two things. Now let us do this exercise. Identify the degrees of comparison. This flower is beautiful. He is more intelligent than the other boys in the class. Unemployment is the most serious problem in our country. Now, let us take the sentences one by one and see which sentence shows what degree of comparison. Now, let us take the first sentence. This flower is beautiful. Now, when you read this sentence, you will realize that no comparison is happening here and the adjective is in its basic form. So this sentence shows the positive degree of comparison or the positive degree of adjective. Now let us look at the second sentence. He is more intelligent than the other boys in the class. Now we have used more intelligent but we are comparing more than two people. So this is an exceptional case and this is in the Comparative degree. Unemployment is the most serious problem in our country. So, we have used most and we are talking of many problems in our country where unemployment is the most serious. So, we are comparing one problem among many problems that exist in our country. Hence, this sentence is in the superlative degree or superlative form. Fill in the blank with a suitable degree of comparison. A dog is dash than a cat. And we have faithful given to us in the brackets. So what are we comparing here? 
we are comparing two things a dog and a cat so what degree of comparison will we use here we will use the comparative degree you will also notice that we have a than here so we have to use the comparative degree here so what is the comparative degree of the adjective faithful it is more faithful so our sentence will be a dog is more faithful than a cat fill in the blank with the suitable degree of comparison this is the dash project among all the projects that have been given till now and the adjective given to us is easy now what are we seeing here when we read the sentence we realize that we are comparing one particular project with many other projects that have been given to us also we see that the has been included here so what degree of comparison do we use here we use the superlative degree and what is the superlative degree of the adjective easy it is easiest so this is the easiest project among all the projects that have been given till now so today we have revised our concepts about the various forms of adjectives which show the degrees of comparison we have the positive degree the comparative degree and the superlative degree which show us the various intensities of the comparison don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so learning at delta step is not just fun and easy it is also rewarding so register for free now